I'm Christy Pelzel for Today News Africa, reporting from Geneva, Switzerland at the World Health Organization headquarters. Joining me is Dr. Maria Van Kerkhoff, the technical lead for COVID-19 at the World Health Organization. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for, for coming here. We rarely have an in-person interview, so it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, we feel very honored. Mm -hmm. Recently, in The Lancet, they have indicated that Africa had a high mortality rate for Africans who had contracted COVID-19. What do we know about this? Yes, so we do know, and we know that infection with the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19, is, is a dangerous virus. Um, and it does kill some people who it infects. We know that the number of deaths that have been reported to WHO to date is truly an underestimate of the true number of deaths um, from COVID-19. There was a recent study that was published in The Lancet looking at some data from hospitalized patients from about 10 countries, if I remember correctly, and looking at the factors of why people are dying from COVID-19. And there's a number of reasons for this. First and foremost, we know that people with underlying conditions um, are at an in, at risk, increased risk of severe disease and death. These include underlying factors like chronic uh, kidney disease, chronic liver disease, HIV AIDS. Um, but we also know that there are other factors that are associated with increase in death. This includes, um, you know, you need early care, early clinical care. The earlier you can receive the clinical care, um, the better care you'll receive. Um, and that can increase, this, increase your chances of survival. So a delay in care um, could result in death. Um, and we also know that access to resources like hospital beds, like oxygen, like dexamethasone also save lives. And so if that is not reaching patients who are most in need, people will die. And we're seeing that in Africa, and we're seeing that in a number of countries across the world. But what you're saying is not it's not just a genetic reason why more Africans are dying when they contract COVID-19. It's also an issue with getting the care they need and having the system set up and the things in place. That's right, that's right. It's a combination of factors, but no, not targeting specifically people who live in Africa. I mean, this is a dangerous virus that is circulating around the world. We have new virus variants that are more transmissible, which means it can infect more people. Um, and if hospital systems are overwhelmed, if we don't have the system in place, then, then it can result in, in people not receiving the care they need. I do want to say a massive thank you to health workers around the world, especially um, those who are caring for COVID patients who are putting themselves at risk and caring for those in need. And one other factor is we must ensure that vaccines and vaccination are reaching all people around the world, and this includes people in Africa. We have recently called for more than 225 million doses more that are needed in Africa by September to save frontline workers and to save people who are at a higher risk of severe disease and death. It's, it's starting to happen, but we need it to happen faster. There's a massive urgency for this, and this includes ensuring people in Africa have access to, to, to safe and effective vaccines. And we know that coming out of the G7 meetings, over 800 million vaccines have been pledged to be donated to underdeveloped countries, mm -hmm. but I understand we need more than 11 billion vaccines? We do, and we need them <laughs> now. I mean, we, we are very, very grateful for the donations, um, and we, we hope for more uh, to be donated, but we need them now. Every day, between 10 and 11,000 people are dying from COVID-19, and that's what we know about. And this is certainly an underestimate. So we need those vaccines now, and we need those vaccines in the arms of people who are most in need health workers and people with underlying conditions, people who are over the age of 60. And this includes people in Africa. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for, for coming, it's my pleasure. Thank you.